Welcome back to Face the Nation. In Asia this weekend, President Donald Trump's most urgent priority is the North Korean nuclear threat. We're joined now by Major Garrett, who is with the president in Tokyo and can shed some light on what message he plans to send to the North Koreans while in the region. Major? Good morning. President Trump began his extensive swing through Asia here in Japan. In moments after Air Force One touched down at Yokota Air Base, the president donned a bomber jacket and told a region already jittery with fears of war that dictators, and by that he meant North Korea's Kim Jong-un, should heed his warnings about military might. The president said history shows us that tyrants only bring poverty, suffering, and servitude. An apt description of life in much of Kim's increasingly isolated and economically hobbled hermit kingdom. Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe greeted Mr. Trump warmly. Abe's government remains encouraged by the president's hard line on North Korea. And Japanese officials say China has never been more motivated to deal with the North, a reflection, they say, of the president's harsh rhetoric. North Korea will assuredly dominate all the president's conversations here in Asia, and he said aboard Air Force One en route here that either in Vietnam or the Philippines he will have a side meeting with Russian President Vladimir Putin. Topic number one, you guessed it, dealing with North Korea, especially having Russia apply harsh sanctions passed by the United Nations. John? Major Garrett for us in Tokyo. Thanks, Major.